When you first start learning Python, one of the first things you learn how to do is create a string. And shortly after that, you will probably learn about slicing. So I mean, at this point, you already know that you can slice a string by using square brackets and specifying the positions of that string to slice with a colon. So you can say from the position of five to 10. And when you actually run this, you're going to get this slice right here. But now suppose we have some more text and this will be called, for example, I am not a teapot. So suppose you have some more text, right? And you're using the same slice on that other text. This will work perfectly. We can still slice the text perfectly, but this comes at a cost. And the cost is that if we're using the exact same slice for these two variables, every time we change it, we're going to have to change it in both places. And that might not be a problem if you're using it only on two variables in the exact same location. But if you're using it throughout your project, it's going to get quite annoying to update everything. And you're probably also going to forget about it. So one thing they don't really teach you when you're learning Python, because it's more relevant to data science, is how to use the inbuilt slice object. And the first thing you might try to do is create a slice using this syntax. You might say, okay, we're going to create a slice from three to 10 like this but this will not work in Python. There is different syntax that we have to use to achieve this kind of functionality. And what I'm talking about is the slice object. Here we can finally create a slice that's going to simulate this part of the code right here. So for example, we can say from three to 10, and now we can just insert my slice there. We can say, okay, my slice there and my slice there. So we can update it throughout our code. Every time we need to update our slice, we will just update it in this one location. So if we run it, we will get the exact same result. Now there are some things that don't work when you're using a slice, such as usually you would use a colon to say that you want to get all the elements up to that index. Well, this does not work when you use a slice object. You're going to have to replace all those instances where you use a colon with the non keyword, and that will act as the colon. So now if we run this, we're going to get all the elements up to the position of 10. And this also works with things like reversing a string where you would usually use colon colon minus one, but with a slice, you would have to type in none, none minus one. And that would achieve the exact same functionality as using colon colon minus one. As you can see, now we have this reversed. Anyway, I'm not going to say that I encounter this kind of functionality often. I've actually never had to repeat a slice in my entire life using Python. And at this point, that's becoming four years. So saying my entire life probably doesn't mean much, but I would love to hear in the comment section down below if this looks like it would be something useful to you or whether you already knew about it or not. I know that I already created a quiz and a short about this, so you might have learned it from there, but I would still love to hear what you think about this in the comment section down below. And with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.